The MACD is a type of exponential moving average. It subtracts the 12-day exponential moving average from the 26-day exponential moving average to get one line, which is the MACD line. And then it combines this with a 9-day exponential moving average, as well as a zero line that the MACD and the 9-day EMA can cross above and below. A cross by the MACD above the 9-day line is bullish, and a cross by the MACD below the 9-day line is bearish. A cross above the zero line is bullish, and a cross below the zero line is bearish. The crossing the zero line is less important than the MACD crossing the 9-day line. When the stock price moves higher, as the MACD moves lower, we have a divergence. And this is a negative divergence. When the stock price is moving lower and the MACD is moving higher, then we have a positive divergence. A negative divergence tells us that the stock may cease to move higher and either turn down or move into a consolidation pattern. And a positive divergence tells us that the stock may cease to move lower and move into a consolidation pattern or possibly move higher. A cross in the MACD often indicates a trend change, especially if the MACD is in a bullish position well above the zero line and then crosses the nine day to the downside. This may indicate that a bullish trend is becoming bearish and just the opposite in a bearish trend if the MACD is extremely oversold and the MACD then crosses the 9-day to the upside, this may indicate that the bearish trend is turning bullish or at a minimum turning into a consolidation pattern. So let's take a look at the MACD on a chart. Let's use a chart of ExxonMobil, XOM, on a daily basis to look at the MACD. So we're going to click on Indicators. Type in M-A-C-D for the MACD. Click the MACD. Close this box. And then we have the MACD at the bottom of the screen. The center line is the zero line for the MACD. And the blue line is the MACD line. And the red line is our nine period EMA. Let's start at the beginning of the chart. We have the MACD in bullish territory above the zero line trending up, and then we get a cross of the MACD here, actually before the stock dropped off. So we had a cross of the MACD, which is in overbought territory at this point, to the downside, and then the stock drops. So with this cross, we may have sold our position, or at a minimum tightened our stops, and been prepared for a reversal in trend from a bull trend to, at a minimum, a consolidation pattern, but the stock actually went into a bear trend. The MACD drops along with the stock, and then we get another crossover of the MACD here. And this is a bullish cross of our blue MACD line above the red 9-day line. We get a short rally in the stock, but then the stock continues down here as the MACD continues up. So this is a bullish divergence in the MACD. We have the price of the stock dropping, the price of ExxonMobil dropping, and the MACD rising. So this should tell us if we're short the stock to tighten our stops and possibly look for an exit of our short and prepare to go long. The MACD crosses the zero line, which is bullish. The stock moves up. We then have the MACD continuing in bullish territory. It's above the zero line until across here, back below the zero line. The stock continued to move up as the MACD was in bullish territory. And as the MACD moved below zero, we have the stock coming back down and breaking 
the support level. And then we have another buy signal in the MACD, which is an oversold, but not in extreme oversold position as it was back in February. So with this buy signal, if we had taken a short position here, we'd be ready to exit that position and perhaps ready to go long as the stock had almost touched a major support level here dating back to May. So we have a major support level combined with a buy signal in the MACD, which again would have us exiting our short position and possibly taking a long position. The MACD confirmed by crossing the zero line in early September, and the stock continued up from the $80 level to around the $87 level. We had another sell signal in our MACD, which was overbought at this point. So this sell signal would have told us to tighten up our stops. And then we see the stock fall off again. And now we're in a buy signal in the MACD right now. So that's the MACD combined with support and resistance in the stock of ExxonMobil. Thank you for watching this video on the MACD, or the Moving Average Convergence Divergence Indicator.